Hey, what's going on you guys? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make money with YouTube with literally zero subscribers. So this is a brand new 2020 video. This is something that uh, probably no one has released before. And so I'm really excited to release this to you. If you're looking forward to the content, make sure that you join the like squad, you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well. On this channel, we teach you really strategies and techniques on how to build a business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. Go ahead to also tick that bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. And without further ado, let's jump into the computer because we're gonna show you how to set up a, a funnel. A funnel is a sales process in which a virtual sales process that you send people through that automates the selling, automates the telling, and allows you to really spend more time with the people that you love. And then also we're gonna show you how to set up YouTube ads. Yes, YouTube ads, that is the secret to this whole entire process is instead of uploading a bunch of videos to YouTube on a daily basis and learning how to get on video and all that stuff, you can actually leverage other people's videos. Yes, other people's YouTube ads, you know those ads that show up before an actual video plays? So you click on a search result, you go to a video and there's an advertisement before. We're gonna show you how to leverage those types of advertisements to create an income using the affiliate marketing business model. So essentially what you can do is you can go out there promote other people's products, products you don't own, you didn't have to create, you didn't have to set up sales pages uh, or any of that stuff unless it's automated for you. We're gonna show you how to do that in this video with a few clicks of a button. We're gonna show you how to promote other already proven products that you can earn a commission off of and that's essentially what affiliate marketing is. It's being able to go out there and say, hey, you know, I'm gonna go to bestbuy.com or I'm gonna go to amazon.com, I'm gonna become an affiliate and when I promote one of their products, I'm gonna earn a commission off of it. And typically at the bottom of most uh, websites, there's a link that says affiliate program in which you can join and start earning commissions and really leverage their brand and influence to build your own business. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to set all this up. We're gonna jump into the computer and we're gonna start with this from scratch. All right guys, so as you can see here, we got kind of a mind map going on of the funnel that we're gonna be setting up that's going to drive people from our YouTube ad into what's called a sales process. So again, a, an online sales process is much like an offline sales process. For example, if you were to walk into a jewelry store, you're greeted, then you're educated, and then they walk you through the sales process, and they eventually, hopefully, you find something that you like and, and you buy. You can create that same environment online through various web pages that have a particular purpose for people to complete particular tasks. And so you're gonna see this in action. I'm gonna explain this to you real quickly and then we're actually gonna build this out using software. And there's different softwares that you can use and I'll run through some different options and I'll also show you the option uh, that I use. That's my top recommendation. So number one, we want to have our sales funnel set up well before we actually create our YouTube ad. So right here you have an opt-in page, which the whole purpose of this page is to capture people's names and email addresses because more often than not, they will not just buy your offer on the first go. And so what you wanna do is you wanna use what's called an email autoresponder that automatically sends out emails on your behalf. So, I mean, I want you to imagine for a second, let's say that you have somebody that comes to a web page they wanna know more about your product or service. They fill out their name and email address and let's say you get 100 visitors in one day and you get like 50 emails. Imagine having to manually write back to all those emails to follow up with those individual people. And then imagine your email is growing and having to do it with 500 people and 1,000 people and 10,000 people. That's where you want leverage inside of your business. You wanna have a service in which you can mass email, send out one email to thousands of people at once, so you're leveraging your time effectively, so you're able to create that passive income. If you've heard about you know, making money while you sleep, it's because people have an asset, whether it be a subscriber base on YouTube like this, it might be a big email list, because they've done the work of building the audience from the get-go, so 
when they've built a relationship with that audience, they can then make offers to that audience and make that quick, fast money that you hear about online. But to do that, you need to set up the foundation. Number one, you need an opt-in page so people enter their information in exchange for value. Whether that value may be a sales page and that sales page could have a video that gives a lot of value and then at the end makes an offer. It could be an ebook, it could be an audio, it could be a blog post, any form of written uh, content, something that they can listen to or something that they can watch, right? So you wanna make sure that in advance, in exchange for an email, you're saying, hey, um, here's some value. In exchange for that value, I want your email address. And so after that, they go into the autoresponder right here. We're gonna talk about autoresponder services and of course web pages to set up this opt-in page and the sales page and all that good stuff. Uh, the sales page is the next step. So once they opt in, they fill out the information, they're automatically gonna be receiving emails to entice people to go back to the sales page right here. And the sales page, just like I said, it gives value and then it makes an offer. If it's somebody that's never heard of you before, it's best to, you know, have a product that's right around, you know, seven to, you know, 20 bucks or so. So you want what's called a low ticket front end offer. And a low ticket front end offer gives people access to like a mini course. It could be uh, even just one video. It could be, you know, like I said, anything that's going to help people get closer to their end goal. So then they go to this checkout page. On the checkout page, they enter their credit card details and then there might be what's called an order bump. An order bump is like a little box that people can check to say, hey, yeah, I would like this add-on in addition to this front end low ticket offer. So again, it might be an extra course, it might be an extra video series, it might be an extra audio. And what that does is it helps you break even and even potentially make money on the front end of your YouTube advertising. Now follow me here. I'm going to show you guys all this stuff. You know, it's going to make sense. I'm going to re reiterate it again so I can really drive this home. So after people check out and they maybe take the order bump, maybe they don't take the extra add-on order bump, they're going to go to yet another page where I make another offer. So in this case, it's like a $1 trial, 47 to $97 a month. And then once again, if they decide to take it, they go to the checkout. If they decide not to take it, then they just say no thanks here and they go to a thank you page. Now you might be wondering, why is there all these different products that are being offered one after another? The reason for that is, is it costs money to advertise. And just like think of McDonald's, think of, if McDonald's just offered hamburgers, they would never get into profit. They would never make money. They actually lose money on hamburgers and make money on their combo meals and, and their other add-ons in addition to the hamburger. And so you want to make sure in any business, you don't just have one product unless it's very high priced. You want to have other products that complement that one product that help people get closer to their goal. So when people take up these additional offers, that's when you start to make money on your advertising. For example, let's say it costs you $50 to acquire a $7 customer. You're losing money. So to make that money back, you have other offers on the back end right here and right here. And then you could even go as far as to after they check out, they get access to a membership area. Within that membership area, you can even offer other products that really you know, get you into profit, which that's kind of for another video, but I want to get you kind of your, your creative juices flowing, get you to understand what a successful online business looks like. And the fact that we're going to be setting all of this stuff up. Okay. So now that you kind of understand this, and again, we're going to run through it, you need to get, you know, a certain software or certain tools to get all this stuff set up. Now the software that I use is called Kartra. And I used to use ClickFunnels, which is another option. The, the reason why I use Kartra is because it's an all-in-one solution, which means you get the autoresponder, which is here, right? And then you also get the funnel builder, which builds out all these web pages for you. Now, with the click of a button, 
this is gonna be super cool because you'll be able to directly import all my emails of my business and all of my web pages so you're not having to set up you know really any of this stuff yourself so let's walk you through that so number one you're going to need this software to complete this um, you can use other softwares if you like click funnels to build funnels you know some people use click funnels for the funnel builder for this process right here and then they'll also maybe also use aweber for their autoresponder. So ClickFunnels, I know they do offer an autoresponder, but I haven't heard the best things about it as far as ensuring that emails are delivered. Um, they're not an expert when it comes to email autoresponders. They're an expert when it comes to building funnels. And so what I used to do is actually use ClickFunnels as my funnel builder and then use Aweber as my autoresponder. So the funnel builder would set up these web pages and the autoresponder would um, obviously create these emails and capture the emails for you. Now, what I liked about Kartra is the fact that it would create the web pages and capture the emails for me. So everything is all in one place for one single fee instead of having to buy these services separately. Okay, so you can you know, there's gonna be a link in the description. If you wanna check Kartra out, you can do this. Uh, it's completely up to you. But once you get access, you're just gonna to go to log in right here. And then I'm going to log into one of my test accounts that I have here. And then once you're logged in, then I would go down here to my campaigns. And then I would click on the import button right here. And this is where it gets really fun. I can paste what's called the campaign share code here and then click next. Now it says I've already imported this campaign, which I've already done. But when you click next and then click finish, what it's going to do, it's gonna take a complete campaign from my Kartra account to your Kartra account. So if I click on it right here, this is the one that I was attempting to import, that's already been imported. I could just click on view assets right here and it's got two pages, a list, a sequence and a form. So once it's imported and I go up here to forms, this is my autoresponder form right here. These are the pages that integrate with my autoresponder and integrate with the offer itself. And then I've got the list. This is where my email leads are, right? The leads that fill out the opt-in here. They go into my list right here and everything's set up. So you don't have to worry about setting up these pages once you deploy the campaign. So let me kind of show you the process of what each of these pages look like, okay? So I'm just going to click on get coder link right here. I'm gonna get the page link. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it into a separate window. And we're gonna show you this process live that we just imported. So we've got the opt-in right here. Once I enter an email address here, let's just kind of enter a random email address again. I'm showing people how to launch a highly profitable online business, promoting other people's little known products. So that's the free information I'm giving in exchange for an email. I'm gonna click on yes, let me in. And then it's gonna take me to a page what's called a bridge video. Now this, this is where affiliates like yourself can bridge people from what's being offered on the capture page to the actual sales page. And it also differentiates yourself from all the other affiliates that are promoting the same offer. People talk about saturation. This is how you avoid saturation of an affiliate offer is you put a bridge page. You put a page in front of the actual sales page that's going to completely separate yourself from everybody else that's promoting the same offer. You can do this with ClickBank products. You can do this with really any affiliate product. So I had my brother create a quick 30, to one, 30 second to one minute video where he pre-sells the offer. And I've actually got a full script that lays out how to do this. 
um, inside of my program. You can check it out. It's going to be in, in the link in the description. And I walk you through this whole entire process. You get the campaign share code. We help you set up the bridge page. You get everything. But here I really want to show you kind of the vision of how everything runs, how everything looks. So once somebody clicks, yes, I want more, then they go to the actual sales page. They go to this page right here, All right? So that extra piece was the bridge page. So opt in bridge page to sales page. And then from the sales page, they go to the checkout right here. So the $7. And by the way, what's really cool about this is this link right here is coded to my brother, Aaron, right? So when somebody clicks this link, they go here, you can see where it says refer. You can see J Elder, which in this case, it's my test account but we're using my brother as a case study in this test account. So you're seeing refer J Elder right here. So that shows that that cell is coded back to uh, the given affiliate account. So when people click continue, let's say they fill out the information here and they go to payment, you've got this upsell right here, the $37 upsell, okay, which is what we were talking about right here so just an example i put 1995 it could be 1995 it could be 37 47 97 but the idea is to have the order bump here and then when they click this mark and they submit the payment it's 44 dollars, in which you're going to earn 50 percent commissions off of this 44 dollar payment if they take the upsells and everything right so you're earning that 44 dollars on the front end and then after they decide to complete the checkout here, they're going to be taken to another page where they can buy more products, where they can try out other products or services that's gonna help them achieve that initial goal, which was, of course, building an online business, right? Launching a highly profitable online business. So once people go through this process, they check out, like I said, they're going to start receiving these follow-up emails. So if I go up here to my communications and then I go to communications again and I go to broadcasts or I go to sequences, you can see that I have this sequence right here. And if I edit it, click on edit right here, let it load up all these emails have automatically been imported into this Kartra account and coded directly to you as an affiliate. So with the click of a button, you were able to set all of this stuff up within Kartra with one click of a button. You entered a campaign code, you clicked import, you were able to import all this. Now all we need to do is jump over here, go ahead and click done and exit, and go to the My Pages section, and then all we really need to do is share this opt-in page right here in our YouTube ad. And again, if I'm going through this really quickly, don't worry because I've got step-by-step -step videos that walk you through this whole entire process in complete detail, and you can access those in the description below. So all we need to do now is copy this given link right here, and then we set up our YouTube ad with this specific link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to another video that's gonna show you how to set up this YouTube ad with this particular funnel here. Alrighty, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start running YouTube ads. This is super exciting. I'm going to be giving you the same ads that I've used to achieve some incredible results with YouTube ads. And I'm only going to, you know, release YouTube ads that I've personally had results with. So beneath this video, you're going to see a list of successful ads. And as time goes on, I will add more and more videos below that you'll be able to download. And all you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click the link below and it's going to take you to the given videos. For example, I'm just going to go over to my Dropbox right now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign in, click sign in. 
and you'll get a link to each of these videos or it might be just a folder of all these videos. For example, let's say it's these videos right here. All you're going to need to do is you're going to need to just click any of the videos here. Obviously, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look a little different. But for example, let's just click this first video right here. And you should be able to download by clicking the little three buttons here. You click the download button, you'll be able to download each one of these videos. And then after you download each one of the videos, then all you're going to need to do is go to a YouTube channel, create a YouTube channel. It's very easy to do if you don't have a YouTube channel. You can go to Google and type in how to set up a YouTube channel. There's plenty of free tutorials out there. I don't want to bore you with the process. I want to show you what you actually paid for, which is, you know, setting up the YouTube ads, optimizing them and, and driving sales. All right. So once you set up a channel, you can use your brand name, you can use another name, but all you need to do is click on this button right here. Once you are logged in, create a video or post. And then all you need to do is click on upload video and then upload each of these videos as unlisted, which means <clears throat> as unlisted, which means all I would do, for example, is go to this video. Let's upload this one, for example. And then I would scroll down. No, it's not made for kids. We're going to select next. Next again, visibility. We're going to go to publish now and then select unlisted and then click done. Okay, we're not going to do that with this video, obviously, because this is just a throwaway video, demo video. Just go ahead and delete that here. But once you do that, let's see, delete forever. So once you do that, then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you set up a Google AdWords account. And the way that you do that is just go to ads.google.com forward slash home. I'll include a link below and you're going to click sign in. Of course, just as you created a YouTube account, you're going to want to have access to a Gmail account so you can create a Google ads account. So you'll click on start now. I'm just going to go ahead and sign in since I already have an account. When you click on start now, you just follow the on-screen instructions to get started. And then once you log in, it may look like something like this. Okay. There's also a way you can create a business manager, which is what I would prefer. So I would just go to Google and type in AdWords business account. So the URL that I gave you previously was for a personal account, but you can also create a business account. So what we would do is go to this link right here. I'm going to include a link below and then you can just simply select create a manager account. So I'll put respective links for a personal account and a manager account. A manager account allows you to have multiple personal accounts or a personal account. You can only have one single account. So preferably set up a manager account. And then what you would do is you would, when you're logged in, you're going to click on this plus button. You're going to create a new account and you're going to enter all this in here, step-by-step, step, save and continue, set up your billing, set up your budget. You can really set up this budget for anything that you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll do, let's see, um, tactic marketing. <laughs> Just kind of made that up. Currency US dollars, save and continue. So billing configuration, I've already got my Amex connected right here. Billing country, we're all good to go there. We're gonna go ahead and submit again. And I'm actually gonna name that tactical marketing, why not? Okay. So now we've got an account set up. It was really that easy. Of course, I already had all my billing, you know, information connected. So we're going to go ahead and, and click on this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our first ad. So we're at the overview level. We're going to go to the campaigns level right here. 
And then we're just gonna simply click on the plus sign and click on new campaign, okay? And then what we wanna do is we wanna set this up for sales or leads. Either one really works. I'm just gonna select sales and then I'm gonna select video and then I'm gonna select continue. Okay, this says please set up conversion tracking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on set up conversion tracking and we're gonna to go to website here and then we're gonna to go to select the action you'd like to track. So we're gonna select lead right here to track the lead and we're gonna enter in HTA, HTAS leads for HTA secrets leads and then use the same value for each conversion. We're just gonna leave that at one. Select how many conversions account per click. We're just gonna click on every. Conversion window is gonna be 30, view through conversion window. Uh, we can just leave as one day. And then including conversions, yes. Attribution model, I just leave these as is. And then we simply select create and continue. And then we're gonna select install the tag yourself. Now there's two ways you can install the tag. You can use Google Tag Manager. You can also install the tag yourself. Now I wanna make this as easy and as effortless as possible. If you do have Google Tag Manager, it is somewhat easier, but there's a learning curve to it. We're not gonna go over that quite yet. You're just gonna to wanna to install the tag yourself so we're gonna take this global site tag and we're gonna copy it and we're gonna jump over to our Kartra account. Okay, this is my other account. We don't wanna sign into that one. We wanna sign into the account that we've created. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into that right now. And I'm gonna to go to pages. And I'm gonna to go to both of these pages. I'm gonna edit them. I'm gonna take the tag from over here. I'm gonna copy that tag as I explained. I'm gonna edit the page, the opt-in page here. And we wanna paste this tag in the tracking section of this page. This is going to allow us to track conversions. This is huge. What we wanna do is embed it in the Facebook ads tracking code section. You put it in these other sections, I've tried it, it won't track. So you wanna paste the global site tag there in the opt-in page, we're gonna select apply. Then we're gonna exit out of this. We're gonna save. And then we're gonna publish live. And then we're going to return to dashboard and then we're also going to go to the bridge page and do the same thing and then add one more thing on the bridge page. We're gonna to go to settings, tracking code. Once again, we're gonna paste this on the bridge page. And then in addition to that, we're gonna go and install this event snippet. This would be the thank you page after the conversion occurs. So the conversion occurs after people opt in on the opt-in page. So what we wanna do is we wanna add this on our bridge page, okay? So this is our bridge page right here, assumingly so. I just haven't replaced this with my bridge video, but you should have done that. We're gonna add this extra script right here. So now we've got two on this page. You've got the global site tag and the event snippet for the HTAS leads conversion page. We're gonna select apply. We're gonna click the X once again. We're gonna save progress. And then we're going to publish live. And boom, we're good to go there. Then we're gonna to return to dashboard and you're gonna exit and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click next right here. You've set up your HTAS leads conversion action. So we're good there. So now that we've got the HTAS leads 
installed, what we're going to do is we're going to jump back to tactical marketing or whatever your ad account name is. So you're just going to go up here and just click on that. Go back to the campaign level. And now we're going to go ahead and set up a new campaign. And this is going to be optimized. We can select cells or leads. Um, and we'll go ahead and just select cells and then video and then drive conversions. We're going to select continue. And then up here, what we're going to do is we're going to write what our end goal is, right? HTA leads. Okay. We'll leave that there for now. We're going to add a little bit more to that. And then you've got two options, maximize conversions and CPA. We're going to go ahead and leave this as maximize conversions for now. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to spend our budget while our full budget while getting the most conversions that we can. And that's good to do at the start. And so our daily budget, we can start between 10 and $20. So I'm just going to do 10 right here. And then the delivery method, you can do standard or accelerated. And by the way, if you do start running your ads and in the first few days, maybe you're not getting any uh, views to your videos, any impressions, you might want to think about raising this budget. But when in doubt, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the group. And then the the Facebook group that is, and then networks, we're going to deselect video partners on the display network languages. We're going to do English locations. I like to do one location at a time. So United States is good. Standard inventory, uh, exclude content, show on all this works. This works additional settings, devices. We're going to set specific target for devices. We're going to go ahead and deselect TV screens. We don't need that hard to convert from a TV screen. And then we're going to click the up button here. And we're not going to worry about frequency capping or ad schedule. And the ad group name is going to be ClickBank. And what we're going to do up here is I'm going to go back up here and this is going to be HTA leads. The targeting is going to be ClickBank. Okay. And then we're going to put US for United States. And then we're going to scroll back down here again. This is ClickBank demographics. I'm going to deselect unknown. Okay. Now you can test this with unknown. It's all about testing. But what this is, is a demographics of people that we want to market to. We typically want to market to people that have money and we want to market to people that we know, right? A lot of times, even though there's a lot of opportunity in the unknown market, like 40% of people are people like on the Google ad network that are unknown. In other words, these are people where Google doesn't have a whole lot of data on them. They don't know their age. They don't know their gender. They don't know their household income. But again, it's, it's 40% of people on the network. That's 40% of traffic you could be missing out on. But for now, we're going to test without it. Okay. So we're going to start with that. We're going to start with the basics. Very simple age 18 to 24, we're going to go ahead and deselect that because 18 to 24, they might have money. They might not have money. Um, we're going to go ahead and deselect that for now, but that's something I will test separately, but I'm just showing you what works right now. Parental status, not a parent, parent. That looks good. I'm going to deselect lower 50 as well. And then as far as audiences, no audiences, keywords, um, this is where we're going to start placing our ads is the keyword section. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back up here. I'm gonna go type in keywords since this is a keyword placement. Okay, and then we're gonna scroll back down. And this is where we're gonna paste our keywords. Now, I would recommend that you start with like two or three keywords. Start with very few keywords. So you could start with, um, for example, to get keyword ideas, I like to just type in ClickBank right here. And the reason why we're using ClickBank, ClickBank is a great starting point because these are typically, you know, we're marketing to people that either want to start an affiliate marketing business, people that don't even know about affiliate marketing, that maybe want to quit their job, or people that know about affiliate marketing 
and they kind of know what ClickBank is. ClickBank is an affiliate marketing marketplace. So these are people that already know what affiliate marketing is. They're more serious. They're more raving fans when it comes to affiliate marketing. And those are the kind of the most targeted type of people. So what we're going to do is we just type in ClickBank here. And I'm going to add ClickBank products maybe. And then I'm going to add ClickBank help. And then I'm going to add maybe ClickBank success. And we're going to start by using exact match. Okay. Bear with me here. You're like, Josh, you're using some crazy lingo. We're going to put brackets around these. This is called exact match, which means we're targeting people that would type in these exact keywords right here, these exact search phrases. Okay. So that means people are going to YouTube and they're typing in these exact search phrases right here. So if I jump over here to YouTube and let's just go to the homepage of YouTube and I type in, for example, ClickBank success. Okay. And I click on any of these videos right here. If they're set up to show ads, if, if they're a member of the YouTube partners program, then more than likely our ad can show up on any of these videos. So this is an example of a YouTube ad, this Wix ad, which I mean, they spend, seems like millions every single day. You see these ads everywhere. This is called an in-stream ad. This is the ad that we're setting, type of ad that we're setting up. So our ad's actually gonna play be before the video. It can even play during the video or after the video. So what better way to show a video on top of a video that's about ClickBank, right? Talk about ethically hijacking traffic. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back over here, right here, and we're just going to start with these three keywords. You can pick any of these keywords here, right? I just started with the keyword ClickBank. You could even type in ClickBank. You, we could dig deeper. So I could take ClickBank products as a root keyword and type in ClickBank products right here. See? And we get even more opportunities. Best way to promote ClickBank products, you know, ClickBank Affiliate Marketplace, how to promote ClickBank products. So I'd recommend two or three, but I'm going to add just a few more just to make it kind of fun. Okay. So let me jump on this side. Boom. Then what we're going to do once we're done with that, we don't need to worry about topics or placements. We're not doing that yet. What we're going to do right now is we're going to add our YouTube videos. So I'm going to jump back over to my channel. And I'm going to go to YouTube studio because these videos are unlisted. I'm going to go to videos over here and we're going to grab these two videos right here, this one and this one. So I'm going to click on this one. We're going to copy link address. We're going to jump back over here. We're going to paste boom. And then what we're going to do is add the final URL. So we're going to jump back to our affiliate account. Remember this HTAS, HTA secrets, opt-in affiliates. We're going to get the code or link for this. We're going to get the page link. We're going to copy the opt-in and we're going to paste it right here. Boom. Good to go. Make sure that's HTTPS, which it changed it for us automatically colon four slash four slash www.sixfigurepartnerprogram.com four slash opt-in. Awesome. Display URL can be the same. Now the display URL has to match the final URL. Okay. As far as the domain, this part doesn't matter. So this could just be sixfigurepartner.com. Okay. And then call to action can be, so you get access. And then the headline, I can just put my name. You can see that preview here. Then what we're going to do is this is going to be the CB office add one. And then I'm going to select create campaign. And then continue to campaign. And then boom, we are actually set up and ready to go. Now, the only thing that we need to do is add another um, ad. Okay. So I'm going to click on the ad group here. 
I'm actually gonna copy this one to make it easy. So we're just going to select it here. Did that kind of quickly. Edit, copy, and then this is gonna say one ad copied, go to ad group, then paste using more options. So we should be able to automatically paste it, but it's not allowing us to. So I'm gonna click the X right here, and then I'm gonna click on more, and then paste. And you can see paste one ad into one ad group. We don't need to check any of these boxes because we're gonna edit really quickly. So we went ahead and pasted. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna edit this ad here, the brand new one. And click edit ad. And we're gonna jump back over here. And we're gonna go back to our channel videos. We're gonna select the video of me in the red shirt copy link address, we're gonna jump back over, and we're gonna just click the X right here, and then we're gonna paste that new URL, and then everything else populates for us again. We don't need to change any of this stuff right here, and then we'll just backspace, add to, change that to a two, and then save add, and boom, we are ready with our first campaign. So I'm gonna check up on this over the course of the next few days, Kind of see what happens. It looks like it's learning for the next few days. So we might spend some money. We might not. We're going to come back and check this out. But that's how you set up your first ads with the HTA system. We'll see you in the next video. Go ahead and execute this. And I can't wait to see your results. So I know this video was a long one. I hope you did get some value from it. You digested it. You took some action on it. And if you want access to this whole entire campaign along with my YouTube ads, I would highly recommend checking out my system below. Go ahead, like this video if you got some value, subscribe to the channel and tick that bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. And we will see you in the next video.